Okay, so this, what we have here this morning, this is um, the regular old, um, this is what you would call a um, brown anole lizard, but, um, and I'm here in the bathroom just to try to contain them with the door closed. There's all kind of little crevices and things that they can run into. And now the reason why I'm filming this guy is because he is quite a bit bigger than your average brown and no. I'm going to try to get him on the, uh, he's of course not co cooperating. The funny thing about this guy, as you'll probably see here in a moment, is for the most part he just stands and fights. He doesn't run. Now he's brown, and even though he's running. Now, he is probably about an inch or two larger than here. There. I think the best thing to do is let him just kind of grab a hold of me. Okay. Yeah, you got me. You got me. Alright, so now I can move him, hopefully, back into the sink where I can have him at least a little bit contained. And uh, with him holding onto my finger here, you can see that he is quite a bit bigger than the average brown and all. He's got about an inch to an uh, inch and a half. It's actually the biggest one I've ever seen. Um, for reference, I'm trying to think. Here's some... Um, Here's some D cell batteries. Um, that gives you some idea of the size of this fella. And this is actually how I caught him. Um, I caught him in somebody's backyard. And it was a yard that was actually, they own a lot of cats. And uh, you can see he's absolutely as, about as wide as my finger. But he didn't run. Um, I went to try to catch him and he didn't run for me. And he basically did this. He just kind of stood there and as I got closer he opened his mouth. And when I got too close he bit me and then I took him home. And he actually never let go. He, uh, I mean he eventually let go but I brought him uh, two houses down and all the way in the house and he was still latched on. Uh, which is something that they do. Um, when cornered, uh, they'll bite. Um, but this guy just bites and bites and bites. We've had him in the critter keeper for a couple of days. Anytime you get near the critter keeper, he just very calmly opens his mouth and uh, threatens to bite you. Um, he wasn't eating. He didn't eat for a whole day. I think probably in a kind of a protest. And. Uh, He did finally eat yesterday, but um, now our tank, we have a tank about two feet by two feet by one feet, and we already have two anoles in there. We have a brown one and a green one, and we can't add this one because he is too big. Uh, brown anoles will fight, and this one will clearly win, and we were already attached to the other two, and we don't have another tank. So this one is going back in the wild uh, where he can bite everything um, but you know I wanted to film him before um, before I put him back uh, he's a he's a big one I'm back in there I'm putting him in the sink just to try to contain him just a little bit with the slick sides, I was thinking he might stay in there, but uh, not so much. And he's pretty calm, pretty as, you know, you, you might see him being a little bit jumpy, but he's um, very calm um, as brown and all's go. Um, he's on everybody's, about to jump on everybody's toothbrush here. Come here. Yeah, he's gonna. He's gonna go ahead and probably bite me again. 
That's what he does. He likes to bite. He's a biter. Anyway, um, that will pretty much do this video. I'm going to catch this guy and put him in the cage and take him back to the wild. But I wanted to share him. There he goes again. Oh, yeah, get me, get me, get me. Yeah, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, stay tuned. More bugs, more lizards, more anything I can catch. It's not poisonous. And, uh, well, uh, talk to you later. Bye.